Hey, hello, everybody. So we are here to talk about the Water Rocket Project, um, and I'm here to introduce it a little bit and talk about the materials that you are going to get from us, unless, of course, you have your own materials. If you have your own materials, awesome. You can use uh, pretty much, for the most part, as much as you want, as long as you have your own. This is more for the people that are getting kits from us uh, for this project in particular. So first thing, you are going to need two uh, soda bottles, two two-liter bottles. One of them, you are going to leave completely alone. You are never going to cut it. Um, you will attach stuff to it, but you're never going to make any holes or do anything to it. The other bottle, you are going to make some cuts. You're going to piece it out, and we're going to use those pieces for certain things. So first and foremost, if you can see, I tried to put some writing on here. Can you zoom in one more? Perfect. So if you see, we have some different pieces here. On each end, those are going to end up being what we call our nose cones, which means it's going to go on the top of our rocket. Uh, these, this middle part here, you are going to use for the body. This is where our parachute is going to go. And then this nice flat area here is going to be where your fins are made. Okay, so you can see I've got two black lines here. These are going to be cuts that we make to help make our fins. And then we'll have a couple cuts as well on the ends. Okay, so other things you are going to need. You will get three meters of string. And again, if you are providing your own materials, it does not need to be the same type of string as ours. You can use yarn, you can use thread, you can use really whatever you have as long as it is string-like. Um, you will need uh, one meter, excuse me, of tape. Uh, we would prefer duct tape, uh, but for the most part, most tapes will work, but really duct tape is kind of the one. Okay, uh, you will need some sort of material for a parachute. We are using just a garbage bag, so if you have a garbage bag at home, that's great. If you have um, even like a grocery bag will work fine, but garbage bags are kind of the, the best way if you got them. Uh, and then the last thing, of course, is a pair of scissors to help us make the cuts that we need to make. All right, so stay tuned for the next step, which is going to be figuring out how we cut and make our fuselage.